Hey guys! Welcome back! I'm Barry from SimplestWider.com. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through the SUD error code that's very common on Samsung washing machines. Yeah, the one that turns your treasured appliance into a foam party. If I had a nickel for every time I got a call about this issue, I'd probably be on a beach somewhere. But instead, I'm here, saving your washers and maybe your weekends. So if you're ready, let's get started. First off, let's get one thing straight. Sud is simply the froth that forms when there's too much soap in water. If there's too much sud in your washer, this error code will pop up. Now if you are wondering why this happens, it could be because you're using the wrong detergent or too much of it. Sometimes it happens when you've got a buildup of old suds or a clogged drain pump filter. In one of my repairs, my client's washer was so bad that it was practically a bubble machine. That said, let's get into the nitty gritty. Here's a quick walkthrough of some of the main culprits behind this sud code, plus tips on how to knock them out. Anytime your washer transforms into a bubble bath, you can be sure the sud error code will pop up. Speaking from experience, this is usually the result of adding too much detergent. But don't fret. This tends to happen so often, especially if you're multitasking or new to the world of laundry. And when that happens, what you get is a foamy and frothy washer as shown in this image. Funny story. One member of our Facebook repair group messaged me last week saying, Jason, I don't know what happened. I put in half a bottle of detergent. And then I thought to myself, did he just say, half a bottle? That's a lot. Basically, his Samsung 6300 series washer became a foam nightclub, and the sud code was its bouncer firmly saying, no more. The lesson here is simple. Respect the detergent cap, folks. From this image, you can clearly see the lines that show how much detergent is recommended. With washing machines, it's not a more is merrier situation. Moreover, too much detergent won't improve your washer's cleaning abilities. With that in mind, let's talk solutions. Your Samsung washer has a SUD error code. Now what? Well, I recommend giving the washing machine some time off. About 10 minutes should do. Turning it off allows the suds to settle and dissipate. Once the soap fiesta dies down, you can go ahead and resume your wash cycle. But to avoid a repeat, you'll also need to run an empty wash on the highest heat setting as shown in this image. Why? Think of it as a reset button that allows you to get rid of any stubborn suds hidden around your washer's drum. And remember to always stick to the guidelines, whether it's on the detergent bottle or in your washer's manual. These nuggets of wisdom are there for a reason. For instance, to keep you from having to call me on a Saturday night. So here's the scoop. Samsung washers like the one you have are what the experts call high efficiency or HE machines. These appliances are designed to be eco-friendly by reducing water and energy consumption. But here's the kicker. They need a special low sudsing detergent to keep them happy. Use anything else, and you're essentially asking for a foam party in your laundry room. Now look. The simplest way to avoid buying or using the wrong detergent is by checking if the bottle has a HE label on it as shown in this image. If it has one, then you're golden. A while back I was called in to rescue a Samsung washer stuck in a foam rave. The owner, one of my day one clients, had just bought a new 8700 smart washer model, and she was puzzled as to why there was so much foam, yet she used the recommended amount of detergent. When I got to her, this is what I found. She was using her old detergent that wasn't HE certified. Hence, the SUD code. But in her defense, she didn't know that modern HE washer use specific detergent softeners and soaps. If you ever get a SUD error despite using the right amount of detergent, double check your bottle to see if it has a HE badge. If it doesn't, run a couple of extra rinse cycles without any detergent involved as shown in this image. In doing so, you're basically telling your washer, Hey, let's rinse out the problem. Now, if you're wondering, I have the recommended detergent for my washer and I've been using the right amount. Why am I still getting a SUD error code? It could be because of SUD accumulation over time. Here, 
my years of practice and experience point to two things. One, your washer isn't rinsing out detergent properly. Or two, you've been slacking off on maintenance. When there's a buildup of detergent or suds inside your washer's drum or on the sensor responsible for monitoring suds, this error will pop up. Think of it as your washer screaming, you need to wash me. Just recently I came across a Reddit post where a guy's Samsung washer was throwing out sud and se errors like candy. From the screenshot you can see him exclaiming. I've cleaned the drain valve and run the self-cleaning many times. But these errors kept popping up. Then I had a light bulb moment. The issue. His machine was retaining suds during wash cycles, which messed the sensors up by the time it got to the rinse cycle. Lucky for him, I've tackled this issue so many times. So if you suspect you're in a similar predicament, roll up your sleeves and listen carefully. Here's how to fix this. Step 1. Run a hot cycle. First, run your empty washer on its highest heat setting. That's because hot water serves as an efficient eliminator of excess suds by effectively breaking them down. Step 2. Scrub the washer's drum. When the hot cycle's done, don't just walk away. Grab a clean cloth and wipe down the drum. I remember this one house where I did just that. And you won't believe the gunk I found. It was like a detergent party had gone wrong. Step 3. Fresh air makes a washer happy. Last but not least, leave that door wide open for a few hours. Your washer needs to breathe, just like we do after a long day. Alright, so let's break this down a bit. A clogged drain pump filter hinders the intended flow of water. And if your washer can't get rid of soapy water when needed, there will be sud accumulation. Hence this infamous error code. For this, diagnosis is easy. Simply check the drain pump filter for dirt and clogs. Here's a preview image of what I found during one of my service runs. The owner was super frustrated because she couldn't figure out where the problem was. Even worse, her washer kept stopping prematurely in the middle of each cycle. Anyway, I got to her place, popped open the washer's filter door, and boom. It was like a treasure chest filled with lint, coins, buttons, pieces of cloth and even a Lego piece. No wonder her washer was on strike. I always say this. Safety first. So, before you become a DIY hero, remember to first unplug the washer. Then grab an empty bowl and maybe a towel because trust me, it's about to get a bit splashy. With everything set up, here's what you need to do. 1. Find the small access door on the front of your washer and pop it open. 2. Pull out the emergency drain hose and let it drain into your bowl. 3. When the bowl fills, dump it and keep going until it's all drained. 4. Unscrew the filter by turning it counterclockwise. Then, clean out all the lint, coins and whatever else is in there. 5. Finally, screw the filter back in, cap the hose and tuck it back in. Now, once you are sure that everything is in place, plug your washer back in and start her up. If you did it right, the sud code should be gone, and your washer should go back to humming and whooshing as usual. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, be sure to comment below. And please remember to like and subscribe to the channel for more tips. See you in the next video.